Hi, this is George Alger. Welcome to today's segment of Arventura TV. Today I'm going to be speaking with the administrator of the Artists for Better World International Mail Art Program, Becky Mate. Welcome, Becky. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. So you've recently uh, wrapped up this year's Mail Art Program. What would you like to say about that? Well, we've been uh, soliciting mail art from around the world in celebration of World Art Day since 2005. And I enjoy seeing what comes from different countries. And uh, it's very exciting. And um, I'm a great aficionado of World Art Day. I started celebrating a global art day in 98 and Artists for a Better World has uh, been promoting world, world Art Day forever. And um, since it's moved to Da Vinci's birthday, April 15th, as proclaimed by the world, uh, the United Nations group, International Association of Artists, IAA, it was proclaimed by them, so that's good. And then they recently got it proclaimed by the by UNESCO too. So it's pretty official. <laughs> Excellent. But by the way, let's clarify what is mail art for folks who may not have ever heard of it. Mail art is something that was started a while ago, and it's um, doing art on the envelope or within the envelope and sending it to somebody. And the good thing about art is it communicates without even necessarily having words. So it could go anywhere in the world. And when I receive mail art, um, I've made it a point the past couple of years to send back mail art, just do some art and send it back to the person that sent it in. And it's just kind of a nice little um, surprise in your mailbox. Very cool. Well, I know you have some examples from this year, so why don't we take a look at them? All right. The first couple are from Macedonia. And this is a very unique one because the top layer of the little cardstock piece, the top layer of the paper was torn away and then the art was put there. And also has some relief to it with a little round um, object that made a circle. There's another one from Macedonia with a nice, see the horse. And then the back of it, very colorful. Nice. That one's a postcard form. Next, we move on to Turkey. Here is the mail art. It goes this way. Nice design, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, this next one from Oak Park, Illinois, in the USA. You see that? And this one is interesting. It shows the, an article about the person who started mail art. Down at the bottom it says, Sassini Pa Mail Art, which is a nod to Magritte, who did a, a painting of a pipe and said, Sassini Pa is in pipe, and peep. Uh, this is not a pipe, so it's kind of a nod to Magritte. <laughs> Very okay. Funny. And then this one came in an envelope and then was, it's from Canada. It had a seal on here and it says an attempt to humanize marginalized peoples through pattern and repeat. So that one's cool. And you have to open up the little package here. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's clever, aren't they? And then inside are the little squares. Oh, so you got several pieces in one package. Okay. Oh, yeah. Musical one. 
Okay. Deutschland. The Very theme was celebrate, celebrate life. So you get that celebration sense in uh, several of these. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you can get that out of that one. And here's my last Germany one. It could go this way. It could go this way. Oh, yeah. It has sort of like tinfoil stripes on it. Very creative. Yeah, I like it. Then we moved to Austin, Texas, where our mail art first started coming in from. And uh, this one. Oh, I have it upside down. Very good. This is a style where several things are put together. It has a little relief to it. Then we moved to Fremont. The last three I'm going to show you from this year are from Fremont. Even the envelope is decorated. Yeah. Here's the outside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. And speaking of decorated envelopes, also from Fremont. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. And on the back. Nice. Yeah, inside a card. Starts that way. Yeah. And check out this. Wow. Jeez. Very good. Very nice. Become the most durable blade of all. Hone that thing to perfection. All right. Inspired by a graphic artist, someone with a sword. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then we're going into penguins. <laughs> All right. There's your little penguin character. <laughs> Very cool. And inside there's the card. Starts with a dive into the water. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Looks like a celebration here. Oh, yeah. And the finale. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Here's one for you. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, just look at the diversity of styles. And um, one thing, when I was doing the art um, back to the people, I, I saw the diversity and it made me want to do more diverse things. And I came across this idea. I saw, I looked up a building in one of the people's towns and the building with the two clocks on the tower look like eyes. So I made a little caricature of a building with eyes. And, you know, uh. I was stretching my limits. And I'm used to painting, well, I got to follow some rules and I've got to make it potentially sellable and fitting within some parameters. But when you're sending art to other people, you're allowed to experiment like that and just do something you know, push your boundaries. Awesome. So do you have any parting words for someone who might be interested in trying male art, but hasn't done it before? 
Well, as you can see, it could be on either a postcard or an envelope. Um, I guess the thing is finding who you're going to send it to, but that could be anybody. Yeah. I think they should stay tuned to artistsforabetterworld.org because that's where the call to mail art is going to come from, right? Yeah. And uh, if they want to send some to me, I'm willing to respond in kind for sure. That's um, they can get my address off off the call to mail art on artistsforabetterworld.org. All right. And yeah, let's get it going. It's it's nice to have some interaction between all of us you know it's it makes the world seem a more familiar place very well said all right well i'm going to wrap things up here this is george alger signing off for this segment of our ventura tv until we meet again <laughs>